you've been in the music world and the world of show business for a long time. Sometimes people compartmentalize their lives. What's so astounding is you hear these stories of Michael Jackson wanting to inject himself with propofol, begging people for propofol, but then we talk to people like yourself and it's like, no, he's, he's on target, he's got his music, he's sharp, he's healthy. How do, how do you reconcile those two? Well, you know, I, I, the only thing I can say is, you know, I'm in a very demanding business, you know, uh, and we have, to, uh, we have to perform and we have to, like, you know, be on, on our mark and, you know, be, be our very best. Michael Jackson is, to me, one of the greatest performers of our time, and uh, I didn't come away with any different feeling after having worked with him. So uh, maybe he's just that good to be able to, you know, really compartmentalize his life. I can't really say. I know about the part on the stage, and uh, you know he was amazing every day. And he was joking. What was his mood? Yeah, I, I completely remember him laughing. You know, I remember. Uh, you know, at this point, all of the uh, the hard work had really, really been done. You know, there were a few more gags, as we call them, a couple technical things we had to get through. The music was pretty much done. We decided to, uh, the set list, the right keys for everything. I mean, there's it's just massive the amount of work. And, uh, you know, everybody on the, in the production had this feeling like, okay, we got, you know, X amount of days to go, and uh, well, we're ready to hit. What was your reaction when you learned that Michael Jackson had died? Uh, you know, Jane, it's like so many things. First of all, it was, it was complete shock. Uh, I, I said to myself, I'm not going to even believe it until I show up at rehearsal and, and see what's going on. And as soon as I pulled up, I understood. But, you know, Michael Jackson is the kind of person who, uh, first of all, I've been hearing his music for however 30 40 years since I was a kid and then when you actually meet the person you realize what a what a really great person he is and so you know it hits you like you've lost somebody that you really that you know well and that, that you know you've lost way too soon you know and your reaction to all the personal details that are being revealed in this case his autopsy photo talk of his urine and all of these very personal things you know, truthfully, I don't think they all need to be on television, but, um, you know, I, uh, I haven't really been following. I'm, you know, I'm, I, I work pretty hard, and I don't really watch a lot of television. But um, you, there You're are busy some making music and yeah. good music, and yeah. we want to thank you so much for coming on. And thank you, Jane.